Today I'm going to show you how to take an image folder from your school photographer and upload it into Destiny. First you have to prepare the file to make sure that it contains everything that it needs to and that it's in the correct format. On my desktop I have a folder called Images. You can either copy this file from your photographer's CD or if you've downloaded your file from your photographer's website you can have that on your desktop also. I recommend though that you do put it on your desktop so that it's easy to locate the file during the process of uploading. So here's my file. Let me show you what's inside of it. When I open it I can see that there are numbers listed and that they are JPEG files. Those files are actually children's pictures. I'll click down them so you can see some of them. The numbers that are on the JPEG actually is the student's number. We need to associate the number on the, fi the picture file to the student record in Destiny. To do so, we also need to have another file in our folder called idlink.txt. Let me click on that and show you what's inside. In there you will see two columns of numbers. The first number is the Destiny student record number. The second number is the student number .jpg, the image number. Having this file in the images folder allows Destiny to connect the correct student image with the correct folder, excuse me, patron record in Destiny. Now I'm going to show you how to zip the file so that it will be in the correct format to upload to Destiny. I'm going to right click on my file folder, go to send to in the list and find compressed zip folder in the options. When I click on that Windows will create a zipped file folder for me. Notice our original folder is called images. The zip folder is called images.zip. You can also tell it's a zip folder because of the big blue Z on it. In earlier vi versions of Windows, this is Windows 7, in earlier versions you will see the folder will actually have a zipper pictured on it showing that it is zipped but always it will have the .zip extension on it. This is how we zip a folder for Destiny in order to have it in the correct format for picture uploads. Next I'm going to open up Destiny and show you what we need to do from Destiny. I'm in the back office and I'm in the op option called Upload Patron Pictures. Here you can see there's a, a browse button. When we click on the browse button, this is when we can go to our desktop and find our zipped folder. I'm going to choose desktop from my list of places on Windows. And when I scroll down, I'm looking for that file with the big blue Z on it there it is and the name of it is correct also images.zip I'm going to click on it to highlight it and then choose the open button now in destiny the name of the file has populated where we need it to be when we click on the upload button your files are going to take a very long time to upload into Destiny because there are hundreds of pictures there. Because of the small size of my file, when I click Upload, we're going to go right to the Job Manager. In the Job Manager, you can see here's the job, the Upload Patron Pictures job. It is currently pending. When I refresh the list, I'll see now that it's completed and that I can view it. Again, your files will take much longer to upload than my small file. Let me show you the results. The summary tells me that two patron pictures were added and that there were three warnings. There were warnings because pictures in the file could not be associated with patron records. 
that means that the patron record is no longer in your school. It may be one that you've deleted because a student is gone and has no more rec uh, items checked out, or it's possible that the student has gone to another school in your district. The two that were added successfully show us the barcode numbers. Now you have pictures uploaded successfully from your images folder and you're ready to enjoy your new student pictures. Bye.